that's where I live. Okay. Now, what breaks my heart, and it really does, is that it's cloudy right now. Uh-huh. <clears throat> We're gonna come out onto the deck. The deck is the best place to kind of see things. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see what I want you to see. But I can at least tell you about it, and it'll be as if you can see it. All right. Mount St. Helens. Ah. Uh. And then a little bit over, you can just maybe see the shadow of it. Uh, that's Mount uh, Adams. The real beast, unfortunately, straight ahead is actually Mount Hood, and it is massive. It's right where all those clouds are. And then over to the right is actually Mount Jefferson. So on a clear day, you can see four peaks. And on a clear, clear day, right next to St. Helens, you can actually see the tip of Mount Rainier, which is the big bad boy in this part of the woods. Wow. Uh, straight ahead view is actually the Estate Vineyard. This is Brooks' original vineyard planted in 1974. Uh, it actually goes all the way down the hill is all us. Even though we don't own all of it, the fruit is all ours. See all these things with sheets over them? Yeah. This is what I was telling you about. Okay. Each one of these is a one ton macro bin. Now, if you want to take a look, see, that is the cap. Uh -huh. So all those berries are pushed up and underneath it is pure juice. So the longer we let that sit, this is what's called a cold soak. The longer we let it sit, the more that's going to extract tannin, color variation, flavor nuances. And if you notice, there's about 18 down here. Barrel room. Press is right in there. Derek's actually working a hose right now uh -huh. for a hose. And then uh, those things are all gonna come in here, that long hose, and then one by one, these are all gonna get filled and then stacked on their side like that, five high. When I yell, will you open the valve and put it in the wine to get that going? Yeah. You want it to go all the way down to the bottom or be up top? No, start in the middle of the juice. I always start in the middle of the juice, that way I know I'm pulling in the juice. And then I slowly adjust as the level drops. And that way I always see where I'm at and where I'm pulling from. I got you. You can already actually see it going. I guess, man. Yeah, so uh, these are all uh, magnums uh -huh. of uh, Riesling. Uh, they are super cool, man. I love Riesling bottles. I love magnum Riesling bottles. This is the La Chenay, La Chenay, excuse me, one of the single vineyards. Smell. Tell me that you smell. You should smell like acetone. Ooh, Crazy. yeah, yeah. So, in each each time we we start a fermentation, like or we we're like we're going to a lot, do a punch down, we lift it up first. There's some crazy things you could smell, but those things are just giving you tips on what's going on. Sometimes there might be like a, um, a sulfury kind of gaseous smell, that just means it's reductive. So you should kind of like give it a little bit of like punchy, punchy, punchy. Move punchy. it around a little bit, yeah. But then when it smells like um, like almost like nail polish remover, that's your indicator that oh fermentation's kicking off. Okay. 